from medical breakthroughs to military applications, here are 11 amazing ways that people are using lasers. Number three has redefined cutting edge technology. Number 11, lasers can be used to control the minds of rats. Scientists were recently able to use laser technology in order to reverse alcoholism in rats. It may sound like a Rick and Morty episode, but experts at Scripps Research in San Diego made it a reality. They did so by placing fiber optic devices into the brains of rats and then used laser beams to target specific neurons. The paper documenting their progress was published in the spring of 2019. Two years prior, researchers at Yale conducted similar experiments. By shining blue light in the temporal lobes of the rodents' brains, they were able to trigger predatory behavior. This includes grabbing, biting, and other staples of rat aggressiveness. So if there's ever a rise of the killer rats, you'll know that the hubris of laser scientists is what's to blame. They were so preoccupied thinking about whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. Number 10. Lasers can help rebuild your body. Stem cells are sort of the Swiss army knife of the human body, as they can perform the functions of many other cells. Because they're so versatile, these cells are the prime material for building replacement organs. In a process called bioprinting, biomaterials such as cells and growth factors are combined to create tissue-like structures that imitate natural tissues. In 2018, researchers developed a way of bioprinting that involves the use of lasers. They took human-induced pluripotent stem cells and suspended them in bio-ink on the surface of a glass slide. Short laser pulses then ejected biomaterial from the cell onto a second one below. Preliminary tests looked promising and none of the cells were damaged during the bioprinting process. Although you shouldn't go full post Malone and start treating your organs like fully insured car rentals just yet, the technology still has a long way to go. Pop quiz, hot shot. The term laser actually originated as an acronym. What do you think it stands for? I'll give you a hint. The first word is light. Let us know what you think in the comments below and stay tuned till later in the video to see if you're right. Number nine. Soon, surgeons will be using lasers to slice you open like warm brie cheese. Cut the cheese. Even though the metal scalpels used by surgeons tend to be extremely sharp, there's still significant damage being done to the tissue surrounding an incision. It's a calculated risk and not life-threatening for most surgeries. That being said, there are certain operations that require cellular level precision. This is particularly true for brain surgery, where there's almost no margin for error. Laser scalpels allow for more delicate procedures to be carried out. It's half blade, half laser. It's a blazer! <laughs> they work by vaporizing soft tissue with a high content of water. Dentists also use lasers to cut through teeth. As if people weren't already afraid of going to the dentist, now they have to worry about swallowing a laser. <laughs> oh, didn't see you there. Hope you're enjoying the video. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe. That way, you'll never miss out on our newest content and it helps other people find the channel. Number eight, some lasers think they're too cool for school. Well, I've got news for those lasers. You aren't. It may sound a bit counterintuitive, but lasers can also be used for cooling. Particles in gas tend to move erratically and at high speeds. However, as atoms are moving towards a laser beam, they absorb photons and start to decelerate. As they begin to slow down, they also lose some of their energy, which translates to a drop in temperature. In theory, it would take about 20,000 photons to bring a sodium atom down to zero. Laser cooling could essentially bring atoms to a full stop within milliseconds. The concept was demonstrated by physicist Stephen Chu in the mid-1980s, and there has been significant progress since then, with scientists being able to cool certain atoms very close to absolute zero. Number seven. When talking about laser vision, there's a tendency to think about the leader of the X-Men, Cyclops, and why an absolute knockout like Jean Grey would ever settle for a square like him when she has a complete beefcake like Logan who's ready to rock. But I digress. <laughs> 
unfortunately for any aspiring superheroes watching, this invention doesn't exactly work like Cyclops. In 2018, a team of physicists from the University of St. Andrews unveiled a type of technology that involves laser light being emitted from contact lenses. So yeah, you'd technically be shooting lasers out of your eyes. But the lens won't put any supervillains out of commission, as the beam only generates about a nanowatt of power. Still, they might work well when used as part of security protocols in the form of wearable tags. Number six. Many researchers have argued that the most significant scientific step for mankind would be learning how to harness and manipulate gravity. The discovery would change the world forever, perhaps bringing us one step closer to interstellar travel. While the answer to that technological advancement still eludes us, scientists have recently confirmed that gravity moves in waves. The concept was proposed in the early 20th century, but wouldn't be directly observed until 2015. Laser technology played a major role in the process. Gravity waves ripple throughout the universe at the speed of light, warping and distorting their surroundings in ways that are difficult to detect. Researchers from the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or LIGO, used highly sophisticated laser detectors, which picked up the changes gravitational waves made as they passed through. Number five, optical tweezers. What do you envision when celebrating your 96th birthday? Is it winning a Nobel Prize? Don't worry if it isn't, we can't all be Arthur Ashkin. You know, the guy who developed the optical tweezers? The oldest Nobel Prize winner in history? Ah. These incredible instruments are capable of suspending microscopic objects in mid-air by using a highly focused laser beam. This type of microscopic particle manipulation enables all sort of applications in nanotechnology. These range from observing live bacteria to studying the properties of DNA. Number four. It might not be the first application that comes to mind, but laser technology has also been used to clear train rails. Railway infrastructure isn't that easy to replace, so proper maintenance is key to ensuring its rail longevity. Over time, leaves that cover train tracks typically become torn and compressed into a slippery coat. This can be dangerous for oncoming trains. Sand and jets of water are typically used to adjust the level of friction on the tracks. While somewhat effective, these maintenance methods also tend to damage the rails. One potential solution to the issue is a prototype railway cleaning system with the savage name of Laser Thor. It basically blasts the railway tracks with enough heat to vaporize any pesky organic material. The two kilowatt laser heats the material up to 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Aside from clearing the debris, the beam also vaporizes any water on the track, which helps with rust prevention. Number three. When it comes to optical driven 3D scanning, lasers play a key role by collecting physical data from an object which can then be used to create a three-dimensional model. This means that a physical object can be scanned and then reproduced anywhere in the world. The technology still has a few limitations regarding the type of objects that can be scanned. If they're reflective, shiny, or transparent, problems can arise. Nevertheless, 3D scanners have been gaining popularity in several industries. They're widely used in branches of entertainment like video games and movies. Other common applications include motion capture, augmented reality, robotic mapping, and industrial design. Number two, ultra speed photography. Some events are just too fast to be detected by the naked eye, while others take place at such speeds that they elude even the most advanced cameras. That is where lasers come in. Infrared light pulses illuminate an object as it travels in rapid sequence. This creates a strobing effect that seems to stop the object within the very frame taken by the camera, a technique that's known as photonic time stretch. Currently, the world's fastest imaging method is known as STEAM, which is short for Serial Time Encoded Amplified Microscopy. Its shutter speed is one trillionth of a second, and it can take 6.1 million pictures in a second. This might actually be fast enough to capture how quickly I get rejected at bars. <laughs> Scientists at UCLA are working towards developing a camera that will take up to 100 million pictures per second. This is not the type of device that you'll find at Best Buy. Its purpose will be the observation of subatomic particles. It's answer time. So what does the acronym LASER stand for? 
The answer is light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Its theoretical foundation was laid by Albert Einstein, then further developed by Charles Hard Towns and Arthur Leonard Shallow in the 1950s. Based on their work, the first functioning laser was built in 1960 at a laboratory in Malibu, California. Number one, you know those planet consuming death rays from science fiction movies? Before you cue the mad scientist's laugh, you should know that we're not exactly close to technology of that magnitude. However, there are varied applications for lasers in the military. There's already a compact laser weapon system, or CLAWS, being tested by the US Marine Corps. The system is mounted on a vehicle and mainly tasked with bringing down enemy drones. The research division of the US Air Force has also developed a laser rifle prototype, which is just awesome. It's called the Personal Halting and Stimulation Response Rifle and it can temporarily blind or disorient a target. In 2019, the Turkish military used a ground-based laser system to bring down an armed enemy drone that was circling over the Libyan district of Misurata. Turkey has thus become the first country to disable an opposition vehicle by using laser weaponry in active combat. Gotta admit, I'm a little jelly. Feels like America should have been all over that.